hey guys welcome back to another video and for this video i will be solving a two-person zero-sum game using the software lindo and this software basically just takes uh the matrix and turns it into a linear programming form and so here's an example we have a player of matrix for player a and player b now I'm going to I'm going to assume that you already know how to solve a two person zero sum game uh, normally and I'm just going to be showing you how to do it using the software which is much easier for a large playoff matrix uh, such as this one so we are going to create a uh, set of constraints from this matrix uh, one constraint being x1 x2 x3 up to x6 which are the strategies of player a must be e uh, greater than zero and y1 y2 up to y6 the strategies of player b must be greater than zero and x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 the sum of those must be equal to 1 also y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 the sum of those strategies of player b must be equal to 1 so now let's go ahead and open our software so the software looks something like this and I will leave a link in the description where you can download the software and also a manual how to use the software so let's see uh, the letter R denotes the value of the game and we want to maximize uh, player A's payoff which is we want to maximize R so what we're gonna write first is we're gonna write max R and subject to uh, a certain constraints and if we look back at our playoff matrix we will see uh, our constraints coming from if we multiply 13 by x1 plus 18 by x2 plus 18 by x3 plus 11 by x4 plus 18 by x5 plus 23 by x6 minus or let's say greater than or equal to the value of the game which is r but since in lindo we cannot have a negative uh, uh, we cannot have on the right side of the LP are uh, and not uh, unknown we will have to take it over and make it become a minus R so let's just uh, write out our first constraint and that will look something like this guy right here so that's 13 x1 plus 18x2 plus 18x3 plus 11x4 plus 18x5 plus 23x6 minus r is greater than or equal to 0 and this is the first column for player a now on to the second column for player b which should look something like uh, 29x1 22x2 23x3 uh, 22 x 4 20 uh, 16 x 5 and 22 x 6 let's go ahead and put that in lindo and there we have 29 x 1 uh, 22 x 2 plus 22 x 3 plus 22 x 4 plus 16 x 5 plus 22 x 6 minus r greater than or equal to 0 now since we have get the gist of it where I'm just going to do go ahead and fill out each of these columns uh, to save uh, a bit of time 
and there we have it but we also need uh, our other constraints such uh, as x1 being greater than 0, x2 being greater than 0, x3 being greater than 0, x4, x5 and x6 being greater than 0. Also x1 plus x2 uh, plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 should be equal to 1. So let's go ahead and put in those constraints as well. And there we have those constraints in. So now we're just going to write at the end, we're just going to write end, E and D, and we're going to go and solve. And there we have it, uh, no sensitivity to analysis, so you're going to say no, uh, close, and there's, uh, there's another tab behind it, so here we have it, let's just minimize this right here. Uh, sorry, that's not too nice. So let's just uh, reduce the size of this so you can see it uh, better. So here we have our output and the variable R, the value is 21.823530. That's the value of the game. Uh, the strategies X1, X2, those are 0. X3 is 2. Point, uh, uh, sorry, that's 0 0.23. 35294 x4 and x5 are those are 0 and x6 is 0.764706 and these are the strategy for player A only so now we'll go and do the strategy for player B so now let's see that S represents uh, the value of the game for player B. We we'll want to minimize the loss of player B. So what we're going to do is change our max R to min or minimize S. So minimize the loss of player B. And then we're going to have our constraints being y1 times 13 plus y2 times 23 plus y3 times 8 plus y4 times 12 plus y5 times 16 plus y6 by 23. And we're just going to continue to do that for each uh, row for player B. And let's just put that into Lindo. Okay, so now our player B uh, LP looks something like this. Min S subject to 13Y1 plus 29Y2 plus 8Y3 plus 12Y4 plus 16Y5 plus 23Y6 minus S is less than or equal to 0. Remember that our first, uh, our, our player A um constraint was greater than or equal to zero so now we're minimizing s we should have it as less than or equal to zero and here are the other values for our other rows corresponding to player b's uh strategies and we also have y1 should be greater than or equal to zero y2 greater than or equal to zero up to y6 being greater than or equal to 0 and y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to y6 should be equal to 1 and then we have end so now we're just gonna uh, highlight all of this and select solve and solve it and then we're gonna look at our output this should be behind this screen so let's see Oh, it's down here. So we see that we see that uh, the objective function value is twenty one point eight two three five three, which is the same thing as R's, which implies that twenty one point eight two three five three is the value of the game, which is S. Now the strategies for player B uh, Y1 is 0 point, 
uh, 0.705882, y2 is 0, y3 is 0 0.29411. 2914118 y4 y5 and y6 those are zero and hence this uh, we have solved the game we have found the value of the game to be 21.823530 and the respective strategies of player a and player b so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in another video